But today our topic of conversation, our topic of discussion is going to be social responsibility. Um, can anybody give me an idea as to what you understand by social responsibility? Any, any hands up? Society and giving back to the society. One Instead of me. giving back, I would say impact the society or change the society. Impact or change the society. Okay, to me, what's social responsibility to me? Yeah? Um, the way I see it, it is, it is being happy with what I do. To discover our own unique sense of social identity, uh, social responsibility, first and foremost, it is not about how we, we do things to connect, uh, to, to help the society, to, to, to be responsible and all. It's more about how we connect with ourselves. Okay, how many of you out there um, would like to invent a product which makes you lots of money? Okay, good. Right, so there are those who, okay. Those who want to make lots of money with the inventions, would you, would, you make, would you carry on with the invention if you knew that the invention could kill lots of people? Okay. So this is something we should just leave it aside for a while. Discovering our unique identity and social responsibility. What do I really want? The kind of world you want to see. What kind of world do you really want to see? How would you feel using your creations on others. Similarly, how would you feel if others were using your creations on you? The thing is, what do I really want? Once you have a creative product or service that you would like to use on others and have others to use on you, this would probably be in line with social responsibility. Okay, about oral care. Well, I was, it was formed with the purpose of bringing good oral, oral hygiene to the masses, including those that could not afford seeing a dentist regularly. Now, you're going to get a pack of toothpaste here. There's going to be a small pack of toothpaste, um, which is a plug disclosing toothpaste, and a big pack of herbal toothpaste. The small pack of toothpaste was originally designed for the purpose of lasting one year so that poor people could afford it in less developed countries at a very low price. Um, unfortunately, there was a little error on my part because people like to use a lot of toothpaste anyway. So, when you do use this toothpaste, please remember to use bean, green bean size of toothpaste. Follow instructions clearly and then it'll be very good. Well, social responsibility, as I said, is doing something which you know, somebody would do for you and you would do for somebody else. So, you know, um, I spent about... Oh, about 25 years trying to clean my teeth properly, right? I'll be at the dentist or almost every other month uh, drilling my teeth and having something done or another. So it was, uh, it was a great delight that in 1984, I was in India and I actually found a brush which brushed my teeth properly. I was like, wow, my God, how come they have this in India? They don't have it in Singapore. So somewhere along the way, I said, oh, you know, we really have to do something to help people have clean teeth. So, um, by accident, in 2004, I, you know, happened to think, okay, you know, we, uh, okay. In 2004, I virtually retired. I made enough money to um, not have to work anymore. But then I thought to myself that, you know, it's quite boring not working. Uh, so, work I did, now, but I decided, okay, let's do something which will help a lot of people. So, the products that I created actually are meant for for individuals who, who, who really have, who really don't understand, like me, really what the dentists are talking about, like you want to know for yourself exactly how to look up to your own health, you want to know for yourself exactly how to look up to your own oral hygiene, and 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 so basically that's that's how I see it as a socially responsible thing. Um, we're still a non-profit organization simply because we haven't made a profit yet. But anyway, we're still chugging along. Yeah. Uh, why is it that big brands like Colgate and Dali, they don't seem to work as well as yours? Well, they being such a huge company, how come they don't have the technology like you do? Ah, that's true. See, the thing is, it's not about how, how, how much money you have or how big you are. It's about how you just basically look at life simply and have a desire to create uh, something which works. Um, not necessarily everybody is you know, thinking in terms of uh, not 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 it's not true that 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 an idea you come up with 
um, you know, would have been thought of by somebody else who was already having more money and more resources. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. media, but uh, it has been there for three years and still haven't heard about it. Yeah, are you marketing? True. Are you not marketing it to uh, the, ca the category we belong? You're marketing it to someone else? Okay, see, the thing is, if you want to market a product like toothpaste in the market, uh, it will cost you about a million dollars over three months to do that. I don't have a million dollars. But what I do have, what I did have, um, was um, $25,000 a year to spend. So I thought, okay, $25,000 a year to spend, it cost me, um, you know, if I stay in the market long enough, and I um, slowly, slowly work with interested parties, over time, it will become successful. Today, actually, um, we, we donated to the school health dental service um, one tube for every primary three child. And, and now I'm thinking to myself, okay, we're going to have to try and make this one pay off. So now, I'm thinking about how to get somebody who's interested in promoting their name to households in Singapore, because we've got 50,000 households being reached every year, because every primary three child would bring it home to their mommy and daddy and show them what they got. And that would probably be sponsored by so-and-so. So I'm just now cracking my head as to how to make it pay. But yeah, we got that. We got that to go through because we're the only product in the world like that. Many people participate in that event. And then NTU Students Union, they have events for like 5,000 students. And all you have to do is give them $500 and they'll have, let you have a booth in uh, really prime lo locations which is populated by 5,000 students every day. Okay, and that's just for five hundred dollars It depends, even if you just give free samples out, you don't have to give out any money. And th uh, that happened with a company called Club Mark. And Club Mark, it's a, a company in Clarkey. They sold their clothes here. Then there's uh, something known as uh, Fazio, the makeup company. They're not that big, but they launched new mascara and they used, did that on in, in NTU using my event. So that's a very uh, no, noble way of going and they don't ask for too much money. And actually you can have collaborations with NTU Students Union just for $500. Means you just need to go and ask them for their proposal, see if it benefits you. And it's very, very cheap also and the reach outreach is very high. First, I believe that young people they are more open <coughs> and you don't really need to pay them a lot. Profitable, I mean, definitely. For well, them, they are not really looking for money initially. That's the later <laughs> part, but they have a lot of energy, a lot of drive, so you can utilize them in a way. So I think you should look for young people, and basically students who, who, are, who, who give them a chance to demonstrate their skills. Actually, what you need is like to hire a um, small consultancy that understands your brand and then um, can you know, sell it in a good way within your budget, of course. Yeah. You know, actually, most of the small consultancies I know of don't understand blogging. They don't understand the new, the new, yeah. the new technology. Well, I, I think that's because they are, the small consultancies are actually like smaller subsidiaries of the bigger consultancies. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a fact that, that blogging and everything else, all this, this uh, internet, internet stuff, right? It's, it's very popular with the younger generation. And, and, well, I was just thinking if I could draw on your resources then. Yeah, I actually have a small consultancy. Uh, okay. That's why I suggested. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and towards the end, right, I felt that, uh, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but I felt that uh, you are going towards business more than your initial thought of showing uh, social responsibility. It's high towards the end. Uh, before you started this, you said that you have no problem with surviving, you have earned enough, right? Then what towards the end, I felt that you diverse a bit towards profit than okay. yeah. the social enterprise. I still live in the real world, okay? And even though this very nice real world actually shows me real money coming into my bank account, despite the fact I'm not selling any toothpaste, um, I, still, I still think in my mind, and maybe it's something I might need to do a shift here, yeah? that 